During the National Infantry Days in Kanjur's VAR, the French Army unveiled an exciting new experiment that signals its commitment to cutting-edge technology. This initiative, known as the Flying Soldier Concept, highlights the Army's interest in enhancing troop mobility and operational capabilities, marking a significant step toward the future of warfare. The concept of a flying soldier is not entirely new, as the French military has been exploring such innovations for years. In 2019, the Flyboard Air, a personal flying device, garnered attention for its military potential. With six engines, four of which generate 250 horsepower each, the Flyboard Air can soar to an altitude of 10,000 feet, made possible by advanced algorithms. Its versatility made it an ideal candidate for military operations, and the Defense Innovation Agency, AID, awarded a 1.3 million euro subsidy to adapt it for military use. The French aerospace lab, Honora, also played a role in refining the technology. The special forces initially saw promise in this technology. In 2021, Florence Parley, then Minister of the Armed Forces, revealed plans for the French Special Operations Command, COS, to test a flying platform derived from the flyboard air. The platform was envisioned as an asset for infiltration and exfiltration missions, particularly in hard-to-reach areas. However, despite its potential, the project faced setbacks, including an accident during a demonstration over Lake Biscarros in 2022, leading to a reassessment of its future. The French Army is not the only military force exploring the potential of flying platforms. In 2019, the British Royal Marines tested a jetpack developed by Gravity Industries, designed for maritime operations. This jetpack, equipped with five microgas turbines generating over 1,000 horsepower, allows operators to fly at speeds over 80 km per hour and reach altitudes of up to 3,000 meters. Its primary purpose is to enable rapid, flexible mobility for boarding ships or reaching areas quickly. The jetpack has been tested during operations, where an operator launched from a fast boat and landed on a target ship in seconds, demonstrating its ability to reduce infiltration time. However, integrating such technology into military operations comes with its own set of challenges. One of the most significant concerns is the ergonomics and combat operability of the jetpack. Weighing around 27 kilograms without fuel, it restricts the operator's mobility and complicates the use of standard weapons. Additionally, the limited flight duration, typically only 3 to 4 minutes, requires careful mission planning to avoid running out of fuel during critical operations. Despite these limitations, the Royal Marines' tests showed the jetpack's potential for specific operations that require speed and surprise. This has caught the attention of the French Army, which is exploring the viability of such technologies to enhance its own operational capacity. The French military is carefully considering the ergonomic and tactical implications of using jetpacks, recognizing that while they may be well-suited for special forces, they might not be suitable for large-scale adoption across all units. The French Army's ongoing tests underscore the importance of identifying real operational needs and leveraging emerging technologies to enhance battlefield effectiveness. The focus is on improving the mobility and offensive capabilities of specialized units, particularly those in light brigades and those operating in difficult terrains like mountains or urban environments. General Pierre Schill, the chief of staff of the French Army, emphasized the need to evaluate the usefulness and scalability of these technologies. While some innovations might prove beneficial for special forces, the larger challenge lies in determining how they can be integrated into regular infantry operations. The potential impact of jetpacks on the French infantry could be transformative. These devices would allow for rapid movement across complex terrains, bypassing obstacles and offering new tactical options in high-stakes missions. They could facilitate swift infiltration and exfiltration, reducing the time soldiers are exposed to enemy fire. However, the challenge remains in balancing endurance, ergonomics, and combat readiness, key factors that will ultimately determine whether these technologies can be fully integrated into military operations. In conclusion, the French Army's experiments with the Flying Soldier concept highlight its forward-thinking approach to modern warfare. Despite the technical challenges that remain, these innovations show promise in enhancing the speed, agility, and operational effectiveness of military units. The integration of such technology into the armed forces could revolutionize how missions are carried out, offering enhanced mobility and flexibility on the battlefield. As this experiment unfolds, the French army continues to push the boundaries of technology, aiming to shape the future of military operations.